Good. Good morning, Panthers. Today's date is April 14th. In today's show, we'll be featuring a video on behind the scenes of GEMS TV and an episode of Panther Party. I'm Jacob. And I'm Olivia. And, and this, this is GEMS TV. TV. Only four spots are left for the Cesar Chavez Youth Leadership Conference and Celebration. It's on Saturday, May 6, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. at UC Davis. If you're interested, sign up with Ms. Reyes ASAP. Ever wonder what it's like behind the scenes here at GEMS TV? Here is Joe with a look. If you've been wondering what goes on in the GEMS TV studio, today we're going to be showing you behind the scenes. Keep reading those Kevin books. There's more money to spend. There's more to spend on. We now have sticky hands, cute animal bookmarks. Good morning, Panthers. Today is March 22nd. Today we'll be featuring the story on track and some more Panther Park. I'm Bella. I'm Kim Blake. And this is Jen's TV. TV. If you're applying to our... Good morning, Panthers. Today is March 22nd. For today's show, we'll be featuring the story on track and some more Panther Park. Oh, okay. We'll see. <laughs> Good morning, Panthers. Today is March 22nd. Today we'll be featuring the story on track. I'm reporter Joe Crawford with photographer Nate Egan, and this is GEMS TV. After a long battle with cancer, Miss Banderas is back at GEMS. Since Miss Banderas has returned back to GEMS, here's an update on her recovery process and how she go back to teaching. Okay, so some things, an update on my recovery is that I finished radiation on February 27th and from now on it's just going to be monitoring with my doctors and making sure that the cancer never comes back. The second question, how do you feel about coming back to campus? I'm super excited to come back because um, I think I've watched everything on Netflix and Hulu that there is out there. Third question, what did you miss about your time away from GEMS? I really miss being around the kids and all the young people, and I also miss being around my colleagues and friends that I've made over the past 17 years at Glen Edwards. And there's three things you need to know about me as a teacher. I love reading, and I'll expect you guys to be reading. I love to write, so we'll be doing a lot of writing. And outside of the classroom, I love to coach. See you guys April 11th. Now that we have the update about Miss Banderas, we hope you can say hi and support her. This has been reporter Bella Reese with, with photographer Kinsley Davis with GEMS TV signing out. Students, your books can now be ordered in the main office for $60 cash. Please have ex exact cash and no checks accepted. And now it's time for sports. <laughs> From popular demand, the volleyball mini camps are back starting next Wednesday, April 19th and 26th. We will hold practice from 4.30 to 5.30 in our main gym. See Coach Lucy in room A1 or send a Schoology message if you have any questions. On Wednesday, the Lady Panthers softball team were actually able to play a real game. The Panthers lost a very close game 5-4 to Antelope Crossing. Shortstop Natalie Jensen completed an unassisted double play and hit for our Panthers. Carmela Quinn struck out five batters in her first game as pitcher. Brooklyn Gua Guatemala scored a run and barely missed hitting a game-winning home run. Brianna Rodriguez also scored a key run for the Panthers. Congratulations goes to the whole team for a first great game. The 8th grade boys volleyball tra team traveled across town to play 12 Bridges Middle School. We had a real challenge on our hands. We did well when we, pa when we passed to each other. We had a few spikes and blocks, but 12 Bridges was able, to was able to defend the court. We play on Thursday against Creekview Ranch. Update on the match will be Monday. Go Panthers! Eighth graders, there will, be an, there will be an East Coast trip meeting next Wednesday, April 19th in room 105 after school. We are only two months away from the trip, so make sure you're attending every meeting. And now here's an exciting game show hosted by your very own Jonathan Cox. Here's Panther Party. 
Hi, my name's Jonathan Cox, and welcome to Gems TV's first fast-paced trivia game show. Here's how it works. Two contestants stand here and here, and are fed a question from off-camera, with a, with a category being picked from the other room. Whoever rings the bell and answers first gets the point. If they answer incorrectly, it gets given to the other person. They have as much time as they would like to answer. Now, we've got three rounds for you today. Two preliminary and one winning round, with a total of four contestants. It's the best out of five game. Welcome to Panther Party. How many stars are on the U.S. flag? 50. Your point. <laughs> All right, next category. <laughs> what is the country with the highest population? Um, China. Correct. Technically, it's split between India and China, yeah, India. but for this case, both are correct. All right. Ooh. What is it called when someone knocks down all the pins in one roll in bowling? Your point. A strike? You're correct. Two to one. What is the fastest land animal? Cheetah. Tied. Two two. Next point is the winner. Who's on the hundred dollar bill? Uh Benjamin Franklin. Correct. God, he wins this round. What is the largest animal? Any animal or just land? Any animal. Blue whale. Correct. Olympic Games are held every blank year. Four years. Correct. Who is on the quarter? What? <laughs> um, Money's I know it. It's a. Uh... George Washington. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which traveler is credited in discovering the the Americas? RJ. I know his name. What's his name? Five. Four. Three, two, one. Olivia? Okay, I know there's another answer, but is it Christopher Columbus? It is! Yeah. That's Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Name a country that starts with the letter Z. I think that was Olivia. No, that was she had her hands right here. I had them right here. No, they were supposed to be on your back. They were when you were doing it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh no. Don't make uh Zimbo. <laughs> That's correct. Let's go. You win the boys. Bro, I don't good know. Good job, RJ. I'm, I'm so sorry. Good. Which sport involves a puck? Puck. Correct. Question. How far can a squirrel fall without dying? Endlessly. That is correct. Get me out of here! Hands on your back. Who is the first president uh, of the United States of America? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> You're George Washington. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you pointed at me. It was it's George Washington. So you're the 16th president. <laughs> oh, God. You're so good. History? Money? What was it? Money. Money. No! Why? <laughs> For the. I broke. Point. For whatever prize we eventually decide on, and it will be delivered and probably recorded. Ooh. I'm broke. I don't know anything about money. <laughs> well, then this would be a good one for you. Yeah. Who is on the penny? <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. That's the oh! 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 I literally clicked it first. <laughs> good job. Go right, back on the tape. I clicked it 
first. That was our official winner of the first round of Panther Party. We will have the prizes recorded soon. This is Panther Party. And now we will leave you with part two of sleeping hygiene tips. Have a great day, Panthers. Let's talk about how the seven ways to fuel your sleep superpower work. Thanks to science, we know the same things that we do for our physical health are also super important for good mental health. And our bodies are still very primitive, working just like they did during the caveman days. So no matter how much technology advances or how old or young we are, we still need balance in these areas every day for good mental health. Exercise and when possible, outdoor exercise. Exercise releases stress, reduces insomnia, and depression. Plenty of time outside in natural light most every day also regulates hormones that improve our sleep and our emotions. Because our brains have so much work to do while we sleep, it's important not to eat a heavy meal just before bedtime. If you haven't eaten earlier, just a glass of milk or a piece of fruit or a light non-sugary snack will help you sleep better. Avoid soda, caffeine, sugary foods or drinks in the afternoon and evening. These things can disrupt restorative sleep. This is the most challenging for all of us, but important to ensure we're getting enough solid sleep. Turn off electronic devices one hour before bed. Instead, train your brain to wind down by listening to music before you go to sleep, write in a journal, read a book, or talk to someone in person. Sleep in a cool, dark, quiet place. A cool room with extra blankets improves healthy sleep. If there are a lot of loud noises around, consider some earplugs because even lowering the noise a little bit will help a lot. Having a clear evening routine most every night also helps prepare the body and mind for sleep. In fact, getting into bed earlier every night can help us increase our hours of healthy sleep. It can be useful to talk to a loved one, if possible, before snoozing, to help get the thoughts of the day out of the way so you can fall asleep easier. If you still can't sleep, it can be helpful to practice some breathing exercises to clear your mind. Even two to three long, very slow, deep breaths can help you fall asleep easier. I hope these tips have been helpful. And remember, making little changes at a time can help increase your healthy sleep experience. Here are some questions for, to help you remember the five G's of good sleep hygiene and the seven ways to fuel your sleep superpower, and maybe some little things that you can do to improve your experience. Send any questions or comments or requests for any materials to the email address below. Thank you. Hi there, it's Brittany and Marissa from S61 Village in Roseville. And with this challenging year coming to an end, we just wanted to reach out and share some of our favorite moments in the community. MCV would like to thank our sponsors, Platinum Level, Sierra Pacific Industries, Camera Lou, Gold Level, Escaton Village Roseville, Crawford Orthodontics, Damsel in Defense, Silver Level, Rugeway Family, Far West Rents and Ready Mix, Silvana Egan, Staples Construction, 1UP Construction, Komodo Technology, Empire Gymnastics Center, Ace Body Shop and Towing Incorporated, Coxie Jar Consulting, Rockstar Music Academy,
Thank you for watching GemCV.